Welcome to this video presentation on submitting your VAT return digitally using Ambition MTD, your free bridging software from Online50. In this video, we'll talk you through how to sign up for MTD with HMRC, we'll complete a VAT return in Sage Accounts, then we'll download and install your free Ambition MTD software, and finally, we'll run a test submission of a return. To submit using MTD, you'll need to register for MTD with HMRC. So let's head over to this government website, where you'll find all the information you need for making tax digital for VAT. As we scroll down, you'll see before you start. Before you sign up, you need to make sure you've followed the following steps. So click on Businesses or Agents. Now let's click on Sign up your business for making tax digital. You're using Sage account software, so you can click Yes on this section and click Continue. As Ambition MTD is built upon CHM MTD Bridge, which is registered with HMRC, you should now select Yes and Continue at this stage. You'll now need to sign in to the Government Gateway. If you don't have an ID for the Government Gateway, you can always click on this link to create sign-in details. You'll need to enter a valid email address because the HMRC will send you a validation code by email. So now let's complete a VAT return in Sage 50 accounts. In this first example, we're accessing a very old version of Sage, which is version 12. And because it's such an old version, I'm going to run the VAT return for 2009. I set my dates and I click on Calculate. I can see that there are quite a number of transactions found for this VAT return. I accept that tra those transactions and I click Yes. The software now produces the return and I can either archive or reconcile. Archiving is quite sufficient to create the file necessary for your VAT return. So now let's close this version and we'll move on to a later version. This is version 2012 and you'll find the VAT section under Financials module once again. Again, we calculate our VAT return, we click on Yes for the transactions, now we can only reconcile this VAT return as there's no Archive button. But the same file is created once you've reconciled. And let's click Close. In our final example, we're going to take a look at one of the latest versions of Sage, and that's 2018, where VAT has become a module of its own. Click on VAT Return, and it's a completely different image. Once again, there is no Archive section, so you'll have to reconcile your VAT return in order to create the file necessary to do your MTD return. So click on Reconcile VAT Return, and click on Yes here. You'll see now, as indicated, the VAT return is reconciled. Now that you're HMRC registered and you've completed your VAT return, it's time to download and install your free Ambition MTD software. So let's pop over to ambitionmtd.co.uk and you'll see the download button in the top right hand corner. Click on the download button and then get the software. You'll be asked to save the download and once you click save it will place it in your downloads folder. From within the downloads folder you'll see the downloaded file. Double click on this file to launch the installation. On some systems, you may see a message from Windows Defender. This is normal as the Online 50 file is newly created. Click on More Info and it will confirm that it is Ambition MTD from Online 50 Limited. It's perfectly safe to click Run anyway. If you're happy enough with the default settings, simply click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement and Next all the way to Finish. Ambition MTD will now automatically launch and search for all your Sage companies on your system. In this case, you can see we've found 16 companies and it will now display a list of each of those companies. Let's change to test mode so that we can have a try without actually submitting live data. Now choose a company and click on Test Submission of VAT to HMRC. You'll now be asked to confirm your VAT return figures and enter an email address.
As this is a test system, you'll be offered test login details. Take note of this, as you'll need to enter them later. Of course, in a live system, you enter your own HMRC login details. Click Continue and enter the login details. You'll now need to grant authority for the program to interact with HMRC on your behalf. The final step is to submit payment for the submission service, and you can do this through Sage Pay, PayPal, or a credit or debit card. Upon payment, your submission is made automatically, and before you know it, you've submitted your VAT return using Ambition MTD.